Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So if you're trying to pull off a realistic fur effect on your VRChat avatar, then today I'm going to be showing you how to do this and what brushes to use in Substance Painter. There is a brush out there that does everything for you, but you do need to purchase it. However, I'm going to be showing you how to do it for free. If you already have your avatar set up in Substance Painter, then skip to this part of the video here. But if you don't have your avatar in Substance Painter, let me show you how to add it real quick. So once you're in Unity, click on your avatar. And then on the right side, you're going to see body here, click that. And it's going to highlight it for you right here. So you're just going to take this and drag it out on your desktop. Then in Substance Painter, you're just going to drag it in, press OK. And here you have your avatar. Now, if you want to drag in your textures, this is really easy. All you would do is click on your avatar, extend your material, press on this picture here, then drag this into Substance Painter here. Here you want to make sure it says texture and here you want to make sure in your current session or whatever you want and import. Now we're going to create a new layer with this fill bucket. You're going to right click in an empty space, scroll down and then from the left side, drag in base color here and then right click here and then paint layer. And now you have your textures on your avatar and you can switch from material to base color. So you have it more realistic and you can enable this tool here if you want the mirror feature. So there's a few different brushes that you can use. So let's start off with the first one. You're going to type in fur here and you're going to select this one. Make sure that the flow is 100%. And now, as you can see, if we use the blue color, you can see we're going to get that nice, beautiful edge that's kind of fur like. And if you want it to fade out a bit more, you can turn down the flow, make it a bit bigger and just turn down the flow. And now you're going to get that like it's basically fading into that other side, the color that you want. So this is a nice brush. I usually use it to fix up a few like smaller areas, like on the head or something like that, just so that you don't have a hard edge line like that. Now there's another one called first soft here. It looks like this. It's a little bit more or less sharp than the previous one. But as you can see, we can still pull off that nice fur effect. And if we turn down the fur, you can see how that effect looks like. And then basically turn down the flow, make your brush bigger and you can fade it in nicely and get that fur look. Of course, you don't need to draw in a straight line. You could do some shapes to say like that, it's maybe like sideways triangles or something like that. If you're trying to if you're trying to avoid straight lines or you can even do some wavy effect as well. That will also help it to make it look more realistic. Another thing you can use, we can type in brush here and any of these basically hard edge lines, for example, this is the one I sometimes use. It's more of like a paint kind of effect, but you can basically mix it in with the fur brush and you can pull off some nice looks like that as well. All you're doing is just avoiding that you have any hard, sharp edges. You just want to kind of, kind of have like a soft fur blending in the two colors. You can play around more. You can search for more brushes, but those are the mostly ones that I use and they do a pretty good job. Another brush you can use if we type in basic here, you can use basic soft. Now this one isn't particularly any like it doesn't give you the fur effect, but it is a much softer brush. So again, you can turn down the flow and you can use it to, as you can see, fade in certain parts of your body. So like that, again, it's not necessarily fur, but it does help from avoiding the, those hard, sharp edges. So there you go. Those are the main brushes that I use in my case. I hope that this helped you out in any kind of way. If you're interested to learn how to use Substance Painter, then I already have a video on how to do that. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around. Peace.